I'm director Michael Moore. You might know me from my documentaries Fahrenheit 9-11, Bowling for Columbine, and Sicko. Now in my newest movie, I'm going to approach a topic that's really controversial. The Angry Black Man. In my newest film, Why is the Black Man Angry? We're in the heart of the Confederacy, Richmond, Virginia, and I'm about to find out why the black man is angry. Excuse me. I'm shooting a documentary. Could I ask you a couple questions? Yeah. The title of the documentary is, Why is the Black Man Angry? Excuse me? Uh, I'm, this is I'm a serious documentary. I'm asking about why is the black man angry. That's why. What do you mean why I'm angry? That's why. Yeah, yeah, don't. Why am I angry? That's why I'm angry. What the fuck do you mean? Why, why would I not be angry? Why, why do you think I'm angry? I got a button-up shirt on. You, you see with a button-up shirt on that's angry. I'm not angry. Why would I figure Obama's president? You should be happy. <laughs> you had to. <laughs> Excuse me? Was you? Are you mad? I thought I was supposed to be happy. If I'm happy, are you mad? If I'm happy, if I'm supposed to be happy, Jesus, this is what this world is coming to. Why am I mad? And I'm supposed to be happy because it's a black president. Hmm. Well, if I was to be so happy, I wouldn't be playing my numbers. So why are you mad? I mean, you got the president in the White House. You got a black billionaire, you got the NBA predominantly black. Why are you angry? If you want for Charlie Sheen, I would have kicked your ass by now. Because of him, I like white boys. Look at this. I can't even stand on the corner for a second. Look at this. I got a collar shirt on, and this one, I got. I can't even wear collar shirts. I got. I gotta go. So, sir, you're a very educated black guy. Yes. Not your stereotype. Went to school, mm -hmm. well educated, have a good job. Why is the black man angry from your perspective? What can you tell us? Like, as you can see right now, I'm eating. 65% of the time we mad because we ain't ate yet. Black men don't eat breakfast. You know, this is a tortilla chip. This isn't breakfast. You know, this is the first thing I eat all day. It's delicious. It's not nutritious. It's full of salt. High blood pressure. That ain't gonna do nothing but kill me faster. You know. But all our breakfast foods is high in salt. You know, so black man can't eat breakfast. Can't have bacon in the morning. High in cholesterol. High in fat. You can't have sausage. And then if you're Muslim, you can't eat pork. All breakfast meats are pork. Being black in America in 2013, it's a lot like, you know, it's like being like a chocolate Twinkie. Huh? Yeah, you know, chocolate Twinkie, you know. Could you elaborate just a bit? I'm confused. I mean, what you gonna get, man? It's a chocolate Twinkie. Think, think the concept, man, you know. I'm a man, you a man, you know. Twinkies are yellow, chocolate Twinkies are brown. But you want to know, is it still a white feeling in the inside? So, you know, being black in America in 2013, it's a lot like being a chocolate Twinkie, man. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, I might go to I might go to work and my boss, you know, he might just decide he want to fire me today. Why? Because he don't like chocolate Twinkie. You know, like yellow Twinkies, Hostess, you know, and sometimes it, you know, it hurts, man. It really hurts, you know. You know, like there's people like chocolate milk, but don't like regular milk. So why can't you like a chocolate Twinkie, but not like the regular Twinkie? You know, I mean, it's like give a black man a chance. You know, there's, you can't believe how many times, you know. It's like offering somebody a chocolate Twinkie and they just, the same way you just, huh? Yeah, that's the, imagine getting that reaction. I'm 30 years old. You just imagine 30 years of being a turned down chocolate Twinkie. Never thought of it that way. You know, 
like Twinkies. They're st- it's still make it through the Holocaust. It'll still make it through, you know, exorcisms, end of the world, zombies, and all that. But because it's chocolate, you don't want it. On the inside, I'm the same as you. I'm just chocolate Twinkie. This is Kente. 34 years old from Richmond, Virginia, has a master's degree and is cleaning bathrooms. So, sir, uh, could you tell me why the black man is angry? Why the black man is angry? Look at what I'm doing, man. Just look at what, just look at what I'm doing, man. I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning toilets, man. I got my master's degree, went to college, graduated, still making seven twenty-five. Why do you think I'm mad? Play a role, I gotta act fake in front of everybody, and I'm not really happy. But I gotta act fake because I got a job, and I'm still not making that much. That's why I'm mad. My damn toilets, still dirty, these trifling people up in here. I mean, I gotta play the role at the job like I'm happy. You know, I speak to everyone. I gotta open the doors, you know, be a gentleman, you know. But deep down inside, I'm not happy. I'm not. I'm angry. I'm angry. And soon, I'm gonna go crazy. If they don't give me no money, I'm gonna go crazy. That's why I'm angry. I wanna thank everyone for watching a sneak preview of my film, Why Is the Black Man Angry? I hope you enjoyed it. But honestly, I did the film, and I'm not sure why the black man is angry. I spent 60 hours interviewing black people about why they're angry. I still don't know. I think I'm losing my touch. You know, my next film is going to be entitled, Why Does Michael Moore Make Stupid Films? Maybe that'll help. All right, thank you for watching.